with the FHA grid, it's much simpler. You can see this. Uh, there's a lot less LLPAs, again, loan level price adjustments. And in particular, you can see the spread there. Look at the uh, 600 to 619 uh, line item. You see minus one and a half is what you will get charged or what's going to be assessed on your loan, on your rate, one and a half points essentially of your loan amount. Whereas if you're 740 or higher, you actually get a benefit. You get an enhancement to your pricing of a quarter point. So what that really means is between a 740 score and a 600 score, the spread from low to high is about one and three quarter points. That's again, I call it kinder and gentler to the borrower than a conventional loan uh, with similar type of scores. Again, those lower scores uh, at 600, you're going to get hit one and a half points for your loan level price adjustment due to FICO. Remember on that other uh, agency grid, you would get hit at two and seven eighths points, and that's at 620, where uh, that is the minimum with conforming conventional, whereas FHA, of course, we can go down to 580 with a three and a half percent down payment. So the point of this is FHA, when you're dealing with uh, lower credit score and with lower down payments, and actually even not necessarily the lowest down payment, even if you go, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20% down on an FHA loan, if you're in that lower credit score level, 600, 620, FHA is going to be a better deal for you in a lot of cases by far. So that's what I want to show you next is I'm going to give you an example here of comparing uh, an agency conventional conforming loan, compare it to an FHA on a particular price scenario. So that's what we're going to go to next on this next screen is I'm going to show you uh, some numbers in terms of rate and monthly payment based on um, a particular price scenario. So in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be assuming a purchase scenario where you have a purchase price of 750000 okay? And with that, we're going to assume that you're going to be putting 15% down. So your loan to value is 85%. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to compare conventional and FHA based on different credit scores. So you can see a direct impact on how your score affects both of these loan program types. Now, at a 780 score, the uh, conventional rate, at least at the time I prepared this, uh, this program, the conventional rate for a 780 score, you're, you would be looking at an interest rate for a 30-year fixed conforming loan, 6.75%. Now, that means uh, the principal and interest payment is going to be uh, $4,135. And then Added to that, you're going to have a PMI premium. And for those parameters, 780 score, 15% down, your PMI premium is going to be $101 a month. 